So this is something if like uh, uh, someone has like a date, forgot to make dinner at home. This is something really, really quick super quick. Make. Boys, listen up. Valentine's coming up. You have six months to learn how to cook. Okay. Okay, so what we're gonna start is put actually all our dry ingredients into a medium-sized um, saucepan. Mm -hmm. So this is our cornstarch, which is gonna thicken the pudding, and some coffee for some flavor. And I put a pinch of salt that I'm gonna put now. This is any black coffee? Any black coffee. Nice and bright. And then we're gonna use egg yolks. So that's also one of the thickeners in our dessert. Okay, so, so three egg yolks. Then I'm gonna put in three tablespoons of sugar. sugar. That brown sugar? That's brown sugar. Okay. I'm using brown sugar because I like it better in desserts. Actually, it's gonna be four, five tablespoons. My heart just stopped. That is a lot of sugar. No, but it's, you can substitute it with um, cocoa sugar. Cocoa sugar. sugar. If, you, if you can also use agave syrup, if you wanna use honey, you can also go for the honey. Correct. This is really just to sweeten it. Okay. So, Texture-wise, it won't make a difference if I use honey or agave or a little bit maybe? No, because we're gonna cook this anyway, so it's gonna okay. melt inside. Good to know. Okay, okay so, so that goes in, in with the dry ingredients. The dry ingredients. Any reason you put the dry ingredients first or just those are the steps? Those are the steps because we're really cooking it all together. Okay. It's basically like a creme anglaise, which is a nice vanilla sauce. Repeat after me. Creme anglaise, anglaise. not cream anglaise. It doesn't mean anything. You can just say English cream. Creme anglaise. Creme. Which is actually a nice sauce that you give for any desserts like molten lava cakes. It's nice for Need. Fruity dessert. Just mix that in until it's nice and smooth. And then we're gonna pour in our mm, milk. That actually smells good. Yeah, you can really smell the coffee coming out. Okay, so we have two cups of milk inside. Whole milk, full cream? Whole milk. If you wanna use skim milk, you can use skim milk. But I use whole milk because you want it to be thick. And then we have our half a cup of Cream. cream. Doesn't have to be whipping cream, you can use cooking cream, all purpose cream, whatever you have. Is there a reason why you're using both cream and milk? It's to thicken it. Okay. I obviously never bake, so this is why I invite her to do the baking for me. And it's nice because it's a non bake recipe. So we're going to move to the stove. Put the stove. I'm going to do that. Low, medium, high? Uh, medium. Medium. Then we're just going to whisk it until it boils. And after, once it boils, we wait 30 seconds, 30, 45 seconds. And so your egg's gonna be cooked. The thing is you have to keep on stirring because you don't, you don't want to have the lumpy texture. You don't want scrambled eggs in your dessert. Once it's nice and thick, so we'll transfer it here. And then, what and then I'm gonna put my chocolate. So that's a lot of chocolate. Okay, so this is. It's just semi sweet later. chocolate. Okay. But you can use any with one tablespoon of butter. Two cups. Two cups of Hershey's chocolate. Two tablespoons of butter? Yes. Salted, no. non salted? Unsalted. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Doesn't really matter. I then like we're gonna salted. pour it in. Okay. I'll pour it in. Pour it in. Yeah. Hot. That's okay. <laughs> I've got man hands. Okay, put that inside. So when so while it's hot, this is what's gonna melt Ooh, our. It's hot. It's okay. hot. That's what's gonna melt our chocolate and the butter. Can you eyeball too? We're, yes, of course can, I can. Then eyeball it. But we're being dainty about it. Gustav, do you want a shot? No? Okay. Gustav's not being fun today. And you just mix it until all the whiskey has been incorporated. And you're done. That's it. You guys, this yep. is it. This is a nice silky texture that you want. Okay, so what happens now? If you want to impress the ladies, scoop it out and put it. It already. It's always for the ladies. Okay, so we're putting this in here. Yeah. 
Okay, just like this. What's gonna happen after this? I after you just chill it for 10 minutes. So while you're having dinner, you can leave it in the refrigerator. It's and then cool, it's like a jelly consistency. It is, it's, uh, like, it's like a snack pack. Now I understand why you put that reference out there. This is really cool. So what? you can also do it vanilla flavor if you want. Just you, you, you won't put the chocolate in there. And there's you can no even make a white chocolate. There's no jello here. Nope. Right? Our thickeners are basically cornstarch and the egg. Nice. Okay, so we're two. You can eat it now if you want. Can we eat it? It's just warm. Mm. Imagine That's pretty roasting ridiculous. marshmallows and yeah. dipping it inside. So if I put it in the fridge, what happens? It just gets slightly it, thicker, it, right? It gets... But it's already nice and... I like the consistency of it already. It's gonna be like jello consistency. It's like a lighter... Yeah. Like a lighter mousse au chocolat. With whiskey. Which we made in 10 minutes. Which is butter. Cool. Thanks, Carms. I got chocolate on my face. I'm gonna wipe the chocolate on my face. I just realized that my towel is from Harrods. Yeah, and you used it really bad. And I used it to like wipe down everything. Okay, anyways, if you guys like that video, please check out um, other videos on the channel. Please subscribe to youtube.com slash bag inside. Carmela here of Casa San Luis. Thank you very much for dropping by and showing us this awesome recipe. She'll show us how to make more recipes in the future. If you like them, please let us know. Comment on the box below. Let us know what you think. Um, I'm gonna go have a little party. See ya. I know I love stack packs. You did when you were a kid. Like he would sneak into my house and eat it. So